Again, is this going to be a feasible warship? No. But it's a freaking submarine. Submarines not yet implemented in the game. 1.05 beta. Yeah. <laughs> this guy would like a word. <laughs> Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. You may have seen recently a video where I built a battleship that was almost round. That is if you edit the save files and you work a little bit on the amount of beam that a ship has. What happens if you work on the draft? Well, you can create all manner of unholy ships, which actually look a bit like a pancake. Um, this is the long boy. Um, I initially tried to make it as long as possible, but the length, like the, the bow to stern length of a ship, is not set in the save file. I think it has something to do with the displacement, I'm not exactly sure. Um, this ship, however, has a draft of minus 90%. Yeah, that's about as weird as it sounds. Minus 90%. What I have found to be tricky with this ship is to actually put some useful armaments on it because this huge deck, well, flat as a pancake, has two turrets. Just two 12 inches. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, and this is with barbette armor and everything else. I don't even have a citadel. I can barely afford a citadel because the thing can't go anywhere. Now, of course, you could make this thing have a wider beam. This will give you some more displacement, but. It's like you have this battleship hull, which is normally supposed to be a hundred to hundred and ten thousand tons, and all of a sudden it's well, it's not. <laughs> That's when you get this contraption. Uh, does this work? Well, yes, it does work. Does the game like it? Debatable. Um, most likely not really. Do the devs like it? Uh, I don't think so. If you want to know how you can do this, linked down below in the description is a link to a previous file, oh sorry, to a previous video where I made a circular battleship slash floating island. And this is essentially the same trick, just one different edit. You're not editing the beam, you're editing the draft. And that's how I ended up with a minus 90% draft. It's one of the few holes that I've found I can actually make this work with. So let's have a look. Again, is this going to be a feasible warship? No. But it's a freaking submarine. Submarines not yet implemented in the game. 1.05 beta. Yeah. <laughs> this guy would like a word. <laughs> I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. This is minus 90% draft. And yes, the guns work. Just look at... <laughs> Look at how pancakey this thing is. Yeah, pancakey is now a word. Um, I'm not even sure how to make a thumbnail out of this. People are going to think this thing is sinking. It's really not sinking, it's just... Sneaky. Now, does this work armor-wise? Um, yes, actually. Because I have an okay amount of armor. And I actually found that, by some miracle, the thing actually... <laughs> It actually blocks quite a few shells. Um, how many compartments exactly you have vertically? I don't know. Because that, of course, is also squeezed by 90%. So this is something that is probably not going to be very good for the longevity of the ship. But hey-ho. Um, it works. It's weird. But it works. Don't ask me how they keep those turrets functioning underwater and how the entire ship has to flooded. What I am rather interested in is at this point, normally, let me rephrase that, normally a ship has um, a belt, if you will, belt armor. Okay. But at this point I have almost no belt, right? Because I don't have any draft. I don't have boink. I don't have enough <laughs> boink. I don't have enough belt to work with. So whatever hits me is quite likely to ricochet off of this submarine battleship. Um, I'm not sure if deck armor is really going to be a problem because the 
thing is underwater. I'm not sure if the game knows how to work that or what to do with it. Just for reference, is this thing firing back with 8 inch guns? What? You're supposed to be a battleship, sir. What is this then? I didn't edit this thing at all. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I did edit this thing at all. Um, yeah, I know what this is. This is the French ship that I used in the 50 versus 1 challenge. Or 1 versus 50 challenge. So she is armed with a bunch of 11 inch guns. That's the, uh, the main line, center line turrets, and then a whole bunch of 8 inchers. Yeah, in that case, it makes sense that she's having all sorts of trouble damaging the uh, the long boy, as I put it. Which, of course, isn't long. Well, the pancake boy, I suppose. And in this case, I imagine that, yes, I will actually be able to do a little bit of damage. What I found even more wicked than uh, one of these subsurface battleships is a destroyer. Because you can find that a destroyer with very little draft almost turns into a submarine. Here's how that looks. I couldn't make it quite as bad slash good as the battleship. Um, this thing has a draft of minus 70%. And with that, I actually still have some room left to improve various weapon systems. Such as radar or rangefinder or whatever you want to put on the ship. She has two forward firing torpedo tubes, which, let's say in a more submarine-y fashion. Yeah, submarine is now a word as well. I'm going to put side by side, because why not? We are a submarine. Um, if I make the beam a little bigger, that ought to make it a bit more feasible to put these side by side and still get some sort of rotation out of them. Not a lot, but some. And of course, since we're a submarine, we're going to have to use a stern launcher as well. Although, 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 that gives me a bit of an aft weight offset problem. Like a lot. Can I put two on the stern? Sorry, no, I need to not put two on the stern. I need to put something heavier on the bow. Yeah, I don't think the game is going to really appreciate it when I put dual barrel launcher on the stern. Even now, it's already working with an aft weight offset. You can put the main tower here if you want to. But I tried to keep this thing as low as possible. So I put it below the... I'm not even sure what you want to call it. This deck? Although I think the term deck doesn't really do it justice. Now, go on. Sit. Uh, this thing is actually fairly fast. For a submarine, it's really fast at 37 knots. And yes, I know, modern submarines travel very fast. Um, they can probably do 30, 35 knots if they really wanted to. Anyway, uh, a destroyer like this, pretty fast. But it gets worse. I, I mean better. It gets better. Did I say worse? I meant better. Because if you look at just how deep this thing is underwater, you're probably going to get a good laugh out of it. Uh, let's make these 21 in... No, too big. Okay, 18 torpedoes, whatever. It's just for entertainment purposes. Launch. Again, um, you can have some fun with these. I'm not going to use these in the campaign. But I thought that they would be amusing to show off anyway. Sadly, you can adjust the length. You can adjust... Sorry, you can adjust the beam and the draft in this save file. Look at this thing. But you cannot edit the length of the ship. There we go. Submarine-ish. We're heading to the north. And this thing is so low in the water that it's, in essence, it's snorkeling. <laughs> it's completely submarine-style snorkeling. Now, it has some armor, but I really wonder what survivability is going to look like. Weird. There. I've spotted them. They haven't spotted me. Yeah, go figure. Not much to spot. Ah, they've seen me. Now, I really wonder... This thing is even lower in the water than that battleship was. Does that mean that all the shells 
from this destroyer are just going to hit the water and not do any kind of damage. Because that would be even more amusing. 3.6, 3. Oh, you hit me. Okay. Uh, we're going to make a submarine with a smoke screen then. As one does. These are 51 knot torps. Oh, I want this thing to torp me. What holy guns do you have? Triple five inch. That's pretty big for a destroyer that size. Ah, uh, you missed. Peter's at the ready. Used one launcher. Probably a starboard one. They have detected. Are they going to respond? Or is the Aventurier going to sink? Uh, I think she'll be fine. Unless she really mucks this up. Which, with the AI, you always have that chance. Uh, yeah, they're gonna fuck it up. <laughs> Although, they barely care. Look at that damage. That was an 18-inch torpedo. Which, for 1940, are fairly small. But, still. 10% <laughs> structural damage on a 2,000-ton destroyer. My submersible, if we're gonna go with that, is 1,148 tons. It's probably, next to a torpedo boat, the smallest destroyer I have ever built in this game. I used the starboard launcher. Can I use the port one, please? Give it a bit more lead. Go on. Oh, can I dive underneath it? How does the game treat rams? Does it treat it as a ram? How are you going to make this... <laughs> Can't hit me. How are you going to make this work? I can't even see my hole. That was a hit. We didn't ram it. I think we just... Just sailed past it. Where's my three inch? Oh, there they are. We got the secret weapon now. I can pen you with a shot that goes almost up. <laughs> oh, unholy warfare. Just flat out unholy warfare. Let's try this again, shall we? Can I sail under the Aventurier? Which is probably still wondering what the hell it is that it's currently trying to fight. does cause a ram. Yeah, their draft is normal, so I'm actually still hitting the ship. Hitting the destroyer. Oh. Fine. This is when I should have had stern tubes. Any bulkheads. Yeah. Fine. Oh, my torpedoes are ready again. Can I finish this guy? Try right, heart rudder. Come on, work the anti-flood. Something is flooding, but I cannot even see it on the damage schematic. What? You can... Okay. You can launch your torpedoes under an extreme angle. But not the port side. The port side just refuses. No. <laughs> I have rudder damage, so the ship is kind of refusing to really make a turn. Oh, dude. No. Now, in case you guys are wondering, um, yes, what I have tried to do... What the fuck was that launch angle? What I have tried to do is make a ship with negative 500 draft. Currently it's minus 70%. What if you go negative 500? Uh, well, the ship kind of falls in on itself. And uh, the hull turns... 
It doesn't turn upside down, but the game really does not make any sense. So don't go negative uh, more than 100% on draft. I think, well, don't make it 100%. Make it anything but triple digits. Anyway, um, quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is funny to work with these little edits. And you can get all sorts of weird and wonderful ships. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to learn how to do it, linked down below in the description is how. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon for more.